If it walks like a union busting bill, if it smells like a union busting bill, it's a union busting bill. Members, I want to draw your attention to line 85 in the bill. A union may not have its dues and uniform assessments deducted and collected by the employer from the salaries of those employees in the unit. Why are we doing this? Let me break down what we're doing in this bill. We are legislatively pulling the plug on automatic payroll dues deduction, cutting off a revenue stream for unions. And sure, we know that they can pay their dues directly to the union, but that's not the point. The point is by pulling the plug on payroll dues deduction, canceling it all together, if 90% of those union members come back and pay the union directly, that means that you've cut off 10% of the revenue stream for the union through the hassle that you've created for them. You've defunded unions. Mission accomplished. We heard from the sponsors they want to make it easier for those public safety unions so they are carved out of these onerous uh, requirements, meaning they want to make it harder for everyone else. So listen up, Floridians. If you're a teacher, cafeteria worker, bus driver, food service employee, educational support employee, maintenance and operations employee, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you're a public utility employee, a librarian, a state hospital employee, a fire safety inspector, a 9-11 operator, an adjunct faculty, parks and rec employee, waste management and sanitation worker, or more, the Florida House wants to make things harder for you because they don't like your union. And the big fat elephant in the room is that this union busting bill exempts public safety unions who traditionally support the majority party. This is not a policy bill. It's a political bill. There's no legitimate policy justification beyond politics. And members, we know that this is an attack on Florida's workers, it's an attack on our unions, and we in the back rows, the Democrats, we stand in opposition to these attacks and we will continue to defend our workers and our unions as long as we are here. Please vote down on this bill.